stay tuned for the new show, Yo Bro, How It Go. From Parliament Street to the man on the street. Live in Iraq, yours truly, Karima, live on Yo Bro, How It Go. This is Yo Bro, How It Go. On my new show, I have an artist called Ja Voice. A Bahamian born artist with a voice like an angel. Ja Voice, how you doing, sir? I'm great, it's a pleasure to be on your show. Alright, sir. Now, the people of the Bahamas has not heard of you, know anything about you. Express yourself to the women and tell them who Ja Voice is. Well, first of all, Ja Voice is a person that loved music from, from a kid. I sang inside the choir, I did music inside school, I did music um, in churches, I've been on shows, I even took it abroad and traveled to Jamaica. When you say you sung in the choir, let's change you into Ja Voice. Well, um, I came from SDA, Stanford for Seven Day Adventists. Wow. Um, well, I'm a Seven Day Adventist myself, so welcome to the club. Hey, hey, hey. Well, now, at the end of the day, remember, okay? you know, Ja Voice is speaking from the Seven Day Adventists part of you, and the show goes on. Uh, so, give the public an inside detail of when you say that you were in church and you sung in the choir. What did you sing in the choir? What was your position? Did you sing alto, soprano, or did you just sung songs that meant something to Jawas? Well, honestly, I was trying to know myself. I always had a great talent because I always could tell by every time I opened my voice the reaction on people's faces. Okay. You know, and I always they didn't, I really didn't know my position, so I tried to sing in every different position. <laughs> you know, until I really grabbed to what I really love, and that was reggae. Alright then. Did you ever try any other genre of music like Calypso? Or you find yourself singing or like your own melody? Well, honestly, I've tried all. I've tried Calypso, I've tried opera, I've tried R&B, I've did rap, wow. you know. I've did all, I even did a little country song, you know, but reggae really captured me. Okay, then. Now, as the voice of Jawas, how did you get the name Jawas? <laughs> well, I get the name through being incarcerated, you know, and like I say, um, I was with a, I was inside a cell with a gentleman named Taylor Boy, okay. you know, and everybody didn't know me for singing, you know, even also them would like make the whole block be quiet as they had me sing, they record me and sing it. Okay. And he asked me and I teach him about freestyle, you know, and okay. he started to get me freestyle and then the office came and oppressed me, you know, saying I want to be a singer and do this. It really hurt me so much that I ended up singing a song, and the way I sang the song from over my heart. Captured Taylor Boy, and he's like, You know what? You soon get a Bible inside your heart. And then you just say, Your voice. Okay. You know? And what was the name of the song that you sung? Well, give us that little treat of the song that you <laughs> sung that gave you and find you the name, Your voice. Well, the song named Rossify from the Bandan Babylon because it was really meant for those also who came in the front of the cell and tried to oppress me and say that Jay would be my home. So the song goes something like, Rastafari come to burn down Babylon, burn down all of them gates of prison, yeah. Emmanuel in come to burn down Vatican, cause a youth him not go want me no victim, yeah. That's a sample, you know. Alright then, now you see why they give you the name of your voice, and it's a voice to reckon with. <laughs> you know, as you say that you have been incarcerated, what do you have to say to young men that have been incarcerated and now find themselves with? These are opportunities that they do not know and talents that lie within them. What do you have to say to them that now you are out and now you are looking to make yourself an instrument to the voice of the people by using your voice in you? Great question, you know. I mean, honestly, that's a very excellent question and I'm going to answer it on a basis of being upfront. Because of knowing about things that cost me to be inside the penitentiary, I'm not going to make it seem like it's something that you can do overnight. Okay. You know, many youths can go through peer pressure, you know, and you gotta remember everybody's not strong as each other. You know, some people could just buck their toe once and get over it. You know, some people gotta buck their toe more than once. Okay. You know, and at the end of the day, before you judge someone, you gotta ask them and find their circumstances because people might say, oh, niggas like jail, you know? You don't wanna like jail. One thing no one ever wants from his bills. You know, some people got love in the after their mother. Some people, yes, it may be wrong when they get money, but it's still for a good intention. Everybody wants to see their mother living good. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to see their kids living good. You see what I'm saying? But yes, we turn the wrong things. Everybody knows the skills to say, you know what? Go and fill the form, show some credentials, and get a professional job and make that money. You know? So, 
All I can say to you some is this. For those that think jail is some picnic, jail don't make you a man. You know, jail don't make you a hard man. To me, being through that, the most baddest man is the one that take care of their home, take care of the family. You know, and the one who can for right. You know? But you are you so the other day you heard from the voice of the man they call Jah Voice. You know that even though you may have made a bad decision or a wrong decision, there's still hope by doing the things that makes it matter. And tune in for the next session as we get into Jah Voice, the deeper part of the interview. Live back on your brow go interviewing my guest Jah Voice. That's why I see you back into the second video of the show. Once again. Again. And the people of the Bahamas would like to know once again the voices of Jawas. <laughs> and what's the future for Jawas? And how do you see yourself taking your music from the Bahamas to the world? Well, first of all, you know, first of all, you gotta be with home first, you know. You know, first of all, I wanna like get my voice to as much people island-wide, city-wide, as much as possible first before I venture back out okay, and that's you know, awesome. take it internationally because I don't want them to say, oh, I just gone out there and do my thing and didn't even give them some heads up, you know? Okay, okay. So I don't want to just show them my love first, you know, and that's why I do my little shows here before I go to do an island tour. Well, for the opportunities that you see yourself starting on in the music, I have a couple questions to you. Given the voice and the talent that the Bahamian people can once again hear from their voice, they would like you to give them a just a little bit of what they can hear in the future from the man called Jah Voice as we end this show. With the voice of the man called Jah Voice. Well, give me the song, something goes like, Give me. I teach you to take the specks from out my eye And I will give you a tissue to wipe out your eyes Yeah, I will wipe out my eyes from the rest that might be in the sky So do the same, my brethren, let's all be alive Yeah, you don't know, you listen to the voice of Jah Voice, a musical man about to take the musical industry by storm. Right up. Listen up for the voice of Jawas. See you later. On. And it was a pleasure. The show called Yo Bro, Algo. In and out.